Deciding when to regroup, lesson 5.4. Sometimes when we add numbers, we'll need to regroup the ones to the tens place. If we add seven ones and five ones, we'll get 12 ones. But we can see there's a two in the ones place and a one in the tens place. See that? So it changed, really, into a 10 and two ones. So if we have seven plus five, we can make a 10 from all these single units. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, so that's one 10 long, right? And look, we have two little ones left over. So we have a 10 and two ones. See how that happened? We put all these little ones together to make a long of 10. When we get too many ones, we use them to make a 10, and that's regrouping. Let's look at this one. We have a 10 and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven ones. We have a 17. We want to add four. We're at 17, and do we need to regroup? Well, let's add them. If this is seven, we can make eight, nine, 10. Now we have 10 here. Well, we can move this to the tens place, can't we? We move all of these to the tens place. And we can make a, a long of 10 from these, can't we? We regroup all those ones that we made into a 10. We can put them in the tens place, and now we just have a one left over. See? So we have two tens and one one. That means 17 plus 4 is two tens and one one. It's a 21. Let's check that out. Let's count on 17. 18, 19, 20, 21. It is 21. So we can take those ones, make a 10, and put it into the tens column. See that? That's regrouping. Let's try it again. Now, do we need to regroup these numbers? We have two tens and four ones. That's a 24. We want to add three to it. When we add these three ones into the ones place, how many ones do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, that's not enough to make a 10. So we have two tens and seven ones. So we didn't need to regroup, did we? Two tens and seven ones is 27. So did we need to regroup? No. We did up here. We did regroup here, didn't we? That's a yes. Down here, we didn't have enough ones to make a 10. So we just kept it the way it was. 24 plus 3 is 27. I'll take a look at these. If we have three tens and eight ones, and we add five ones, we need to see if we need to regroup. We're gonna use this work area, and then we're gonna find how many tens and ones are in all. If we have three tens and eight ones, and we add five ones, how many more ones do we need to make a 10 from this eight? Eight, nine, 10. We only need two ones to make another 10. We have five ones. Do we need to regroup? Yes, because we're going to have too many ones. So now we do the three tens and eight ones right here, three tens, eight ones, and we add five ones. Eight plus five is eight 
9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, that's 13. We're going to put, instead of putting two digits in this column, because that's not allowed, you can only put one digit in each place value. So we're going to put the 3 from the 13 here and the 10 from the 13 here. See? We group the 13 ones into a 10 and 3 ones, and we put that 10 in the tens column. Now we add the tens, we have four tens and three ones. So how many in all? We have four tens and three ones. That's a 43, isn't it? All right, let's try that again. Let's see if we need to regroup. We have eight tens and two ones. Do we need to regroup if we add three ones? Are two ones and three ones enough to make a 10? No, that's not enough to make a 10. So we don't need to regroup, no. We put our eight tens and our two ones in the correct place value. We put our three ones in the correct place value. When we go to add them, two plus three is two, three, four, five, we just bring the 8 down. We didn't even need this, did we? Because we didn't need to regroup, did we? We only had five ones. See? So we have eight tens and five ones. We had 85. We didn't have to regroup. We didn't have enough ones. Let's try this one. We have two tens and six ones, and we want to add four ones. Can we make a 10 if we add six and the four? The six ones and the four ones? Well, six plus four is six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is a 10. We can give that 10 to the tens place. So yes, we do need to regroup. We have two tens and six ones two tens and six ones. We're going to add four ones. We just saw that six plus four is ten. We can only put one digit in each place value column. So we're going to put a zero here and the one that we had for the ten is going to go here. Six plus four is ten. Here's the one for the ten and here's the zero. See? And two plus one is three. Let's check it by counting on. 26 plus 4, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Yeah, it is 30. So we have three tens and no ones. We have 30. See? When we get too many ones, we can group them together and regroup them to the tens place however many tens we make, okay? Let's try problem solving. Tala has four dimes and seven pennies. Her grandmother gives her one nickel and two pennies. So how much money does she have? So let's circle the important words. She has four dimes, right? And seven pennies, that's important. Her grandmother gave her a nickel and two pennies. Now, if her grandmother gives it to her, then she's going to have more, isn't she? And it says, how much money does she have? So this is going to be a plus addition sentence, okay? It's going to be a plus number sentence because her grandmother gave her more, okay? So we think she has four dimes and seven pennies, right? Four dimes and seven pennies. Well, that's four tens, because a dime is ten, and seven ones, because pennies are ones. So that's 47 cents, four tens, seven ones. And grandmother gave her a nickel and two pennies. A nickel is five cents, and two pennies is two cents. So grandmother gave her seven cents. So she had 47 cents, and we need to add seven cents. 47 plus 7. 
7 plus 7 is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We put the 4 down here, and we put the 110 up here, see, for the 14. So it's like it's split into two different place values, 1, 4, see. Now we add the 4 and the 1, and we get a 5, and that's 54. We add 47 cents plus 7 cents. 7 plus 7 is 14. We regroup the 1, 10, to the tens place, put the 4 down, and then we add the tens place. See? And 4 plus 1 is 5. When I was in school a long time ago, because I'm a grandma, when I was little, they called it carryover. And they don't call it that anymore. It makes sense to call it regrouping because we're regrouping the ones into a new group, into the tens place. See? See if you can try doing this on your own. Try to add two digit numbers and regroup your ones to the tens column when you need to. Okay? We're going to talk about regrouping more in the next video, so I hope I'll see you there. Bye.